Hello and happy Wednesday. We are headed to Los Angeles to the Peppermint Club. I am waiting for my girl Chalia, about to pick her up, we're about to carpool. We're gonna enjoy a really cool art and music event. I'm with my girl Chalia. Oh, peace. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. White okay. Boots. Matching this whole parking structure. <laughs> Okay, look at that light. Oh, there you go. I'm already ready for this vibe. Right. That's gonna be me. No, for real. <laughs> What? You want me to say it? Yeah. What's up, everybody? <laughs> Happy birthday, Kiara! <laughs> Happy yeah. birthday, Kiara! Happy birthday, Happy Kiara! Birthday. Happy 24! You just see Dory in the background. She's 24 now. Can't believe it. But it just feels like she's been in her young 20s for a long time, and now she's reaching mid 20s. It's that time. Is that old for you guys or what? No. No, it's just like. I it's a different phase of life. In the 20s, as you start to. Yeah, you just start to think about things. You're like, okay, what am I doing? You're still acting crazy, but you're like, you start to think about what you're doing. That is true. You know? And then you reach 28, and then you're like, all right. <laughs> like, I'm 28, and then you're like, <laughs> let me get into business. This is the documentary, yeah, man. Awesome. The it's making of Kiara. Before they were famous. Baby Shark. Baby Shark. Oh, that's exactly what you okay. asked for. There's no card, but I wanted to write the cat's in the bag. <laughs> Cat is officially in the yeah. bag. What's up, girl? You ready to get walked? To the fullest of your authenticity and be mindful of other people and respect other people and their differences in the process as well. Qué bonita que te quieres controlar Ella dice que me quiere controlar Nosotros lo vamos a te velar más Dime, ¿cómo tú te quieres a venir más? Dime, ¿cómo lo vamos a poner? 
Hi friends. Okay, so I officially just came back from the show. It was absolutely incredible. She is such a talented performer and I've always looked forward to like just seeing her live in person and like today was that day. She killed it. She dances. She's so genuine, so like kind. I just feel like she's very intentional with like what her performance is and it was just so grand. So I purchased me a little t-shirt. I really enjoyed myself. The Peppermint Club is definitely a club that I would return back to. It's so clean. The staff is so friendly and overall it's just such a classy place. So I really appreciate this place and I'm just grateful for a good night. Hello friends, daylight season is officially here. We are transitioning into fall. The nights are getting colder, the days are getting shorter. And so when we're transitioning into the cold, we spend a lot more time with ourselves and going inward. It's just part of our nature to now take the time to slow down and to shed anything that no longer serves us, something that no longer is necessary in our life to grow. It could be a little hard emotionally or mentally to like go through these seasons of change. We are also entering the holiday season, which is usually a season of giving. I know that in order to give to others, you must first give to yourself because you can only pour from what you have, right? You can't pour from an empty cup. When we have enough love for ourselves, we are able to share that with others and then the love that they have for themselves pours into us and we are overfilling each other's cups, which is such a blessing, an abundance of blessings, right? So this video is really inspired by the transition of fall coming into the holiday season, the season of giving. Without further ado, let's get into it. The greatest way that we can treat ourselves is by treating our mind, body, and our soul. So doing things for the mind that bring us peace, bring us clarity, bring us joy, bring us serenity. And when our mind is right, our body and our soul will realign as well because they are all interconnected. My favorite way to get back into peace and alignment is by taking a walk in nature or simply by being in nature itself. It could just be sitting in it, listening to it, observing it, but just being one with it really, just surrounding yourself in an environment that is peaceful, surrounded by water, surrounded by trees, by birds, by flowers, by grass. Nature is so inspiring. And I know that when I put myself into nature, I just feel this sense of calm. Nature makes me feel like I've been reset. Immerse yourself in it, go sit in it, go walk through it and just be. Very similar to how a tree sheds its leaves, this is your moment to shed and wash away what no longer serves you. Taking a bath could be so calm for the mind. You can set the scene. This is your environment that you get to shape and mold yourself. So what I did is I put a little mood light, I lit some candles, I made sure that water was warm, and then I used my favorite products from Iron Lion Soap. If you haven't heard from them, they are definitely the best soap out there. I don't bathe with anything else, okay? At this point, like it's ILS for life. Thank you so much to ILS for sponsoring this video. They did provide a discount code for you guys. There is a link in the description below. All you gotta do is click on it and the code is automatically applied. You can use my code, Cool cap for free shipping on any order of $25 or more. I love ILS because the soap smells great and it leaves your skin feeling so soft and so smooth and incredible and exfoliated. You just feel good knowing that you used a product that is all natural, no chemicals, no preservatives. It's small business and it's local. It's here in Southern California in Santa Ana. They have such a great ethos, such great ethics. It's all sustainable and it's built by great people. So I hope you guys consider giving it a chance. If you know anybody else that is into sustainable products and is looking for a better alternative for soap or hygiene, send them that link. Send them that link, y'all. Take care of your body, y'all, because your body is your suit. It's your armor. It takes care of you, so take care of it. My third tip for taking care of yourself is to train your mind. I love to learn and I think it's so much fun. Lately, I've been using Duolingo and this app called Elevate. So I took a seven month break from Duolingo and we back. Like I'm taking Spanish and it's been a while. It's been a while. I am Mexican and native and I should know Spanish, but your girl doesn't cause she's third gen and she just didn't learn. So she's doing her best to pick it up now. Okay, like she knows Hola, como estas, mi amo, Colin, but that's about it. The other day, I got Ama Dolinguo and they were like, how do you translate the sandwich? And I was like, 
what's the name what's that name like i was like so i was like how do i translate the sandwich like i thought it was just the sandwich like what what do you mean like i don't remember saying i wrote la torta and it was wrong it was l sandwich like mm. and then what really got me on these brain games like elevate bruh i was trying to find the average of five numbers the other month and i could not for the life of me find the average it's been years since i've done long division with decimals and that sort of thing and i just forgot how to do it and i was just so confused and i was also like bro like i'm smarter than this like fifth grade year old me knew this stuff so like why don't i remember how to do this and so that's why i downloaded the app elevate so that i can relearn long division i know that sounds like really wild and like bro like you forgot long division yeah bro i did so anyway i got back on elevate and your girl remembers how to do it you know what else is fun puzzles memory cards chess oh don't play there's various ways of strengthening your mind, and so I hope that you guys resonate with that. A way that you can treat your mind and your spirit is to meditate, and this looks different for everybody because we're not a cookie cutter, right? The way that I love to meditate is by clearing my mind by thinking of anything and anything that comes to my mind. I don't push anything away. I just allow my thoughts to pass through like clouds and observe them, understand where those thoughts stem from, ask myself like, why am I thinking these thoughts? Is there anything I need to learn from these thoughts? Are there any actionable items that I can do to help my mind get back on track? I was reading my book, A Return to Love this morning and it had a beautiful saying that the sky is always blue. When gray clouds appear into that sky, it starts to look like the sky has turned gray. But the sky is never gray, right? It's always blue. It's just covered by the clouds that we put there. And it's referring the clouds as our, our thoughts. Our body is full of light. And it's not until we have these thoughts and these emotions and these insecurities and doubts and fear and whatever, it clouds up our light and we no longer see the light. And we start to think and focus on that cloudiness within ourselves. But when you could just watch it and observe it and allow it to just flow away, the light reappears. That's why I find that meditation is so powerful. It just allows us to reset again and become new again. Different forms of meditation include taking a walk, listening to music, some soft music, some jazz, some light instrumentals, maybe even some binaural beats. You could read a book, you can journal. There are guided meditations online, on YouTube, you could pray. If you're into art, you can paint, you can sing, you can dance. I love dancing. I think dancing is a medicine. It's just a form of meditation. It's a form of healing, in my opinion, because you're letting go of any pent up energy. There's just so many different ways to meditate. I'm gonna leave it on that note. If you guys have any other suggestions, any things that you guys would like to add, feel free to leave them below in the comments. I would love to hear from you all. And of course, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you all so, so much. And yes, use that code below, y'all. I'm not kidding. Like, go use that code, bro. Go get you some soap. Go stay clean over there. <laughs> But yeah, y'all, thank you so much for being here.